Hello everyone, welcome to Digi Bytes. I am Vavo Gupta, your Alteryx expert, and today we are going to learn about another interesting use case of Alteryx, where we will understand that how in an Excel output we can generate multiple tab sheet. Then why wait? Let's start. So now you could see the familiar screen of Alteryx. Let's play around with our data. I will drag an input data tool. Select the input file. Uh, let's say I will select the CSV file. And this is employee CSV. I will open it. And I have the multiple columns. Let's run it and see what columns we have. We have first name, last name, company name, etc. etc. There are multiple columns. Uh, let to rename them in a proper manner so it is more understandable for the user. So let's give the first name as first name, last name, company, address, city, country. State, zip code, phone, phone two, email ID, website, salary. So if now I run it again. I can see that my data looks now in terms of columns much better. So I can see a proper naming. So what I want to do is now I want to create a Excel output in which in multiple tabs we have data with respect to state. So let's say if LA is one state. so all the records that belong to LA should be in one tab sheet. But as you can see, there are 500 records and there might be lot number of uh, states here. So let's see by grouping on the basis of state. So we can see on grouping by and we will run it and see there are 47 states. So then there will be 47 tab sheets will be created. So we, uh, I do not want to uh, go in that many tab sheets. So let's just sample around our data to 30 records. And here I will set the n equal to 30 so that we will only select 30 records. Now what we will do is we will track the output data tool and select file and write it as xlsx file in this folder let's name it as output and click on save and by default we will name it as sheet one now there is one catch as we want to write it on the basis of state uh, a different tab sheets so we will use this option where take file or table name from field so i will check this and here i will select state and now i also want this state field to be in the output is itself and uh, i want that my sheet is completely only named by state so i will change the option to change file or table name if i want that uh, by default it should be like shift sheet one underscore uh, m i or any other state name or if i want m i underscore sheet one so i will use these options respectively but right now i just want it by state name so i will ch select change field or table name now if i run it can see 
the multiple tabs were generated now we will directly go to the file and see you can see there are multiple tab sheets ak az ca ilks so based on the different states the data has been created into those particular sheets so this is how we can generate uh, output with multiple tab sheet in alteryx we can play around with these different configurations we can change the path and we can do a lot of stuff based on our requirement in case you have any doubt on this topic please mention in the comments and i will try to help you out with the proper suggestions and if you want to explore more in this you can come out with different use cases and we can solve it together thank you everyone for watching this video and please do subscribe our channel